dialysis seems to be a horrible word but actually it's a life support now if you think there is somebody who needs oxygen for such a person ventilator is life saving so similarly kidney if it is not working then the life support of the body is dialysis itself what is dialysis in simplest words it is blood cleaning but in physics it is diffusion and convection I am Dr. Sandeep Prabhakar Burke. I am a consulting nephrologist at Mumbai. Most of the kidney patients which we know about are chronic kidney disease patients. They are having a permanent problem with the kidneys, which is slowly progressive, like diabetic nephropathy, hypertensive sclerosis, etc. Now, in these patients, the baseline creatinine may be two, but slowly over the period of many years, it reaches maybe up to seven, eight, nine. and the gfr the glomerular filtration rate which is the power of functioning of the kidney slowly falls once it reaches around 30 then usually the patient is counseled by the nephrologist for the need of a vascular access the vascular access the commonest one is the av fistula on the hand this is a vascular communication between the artery and vein and through that the blood goes from the artery into the vein directly and causes arterialization of the veins this becomes a access for the needle to be put in and that needle takes the blood to the dialysis machine and it is returned back to the second needle in the arterial fistula vein in the hand now in other patients there may not be good veins in the hand and in such patients later on a perma catheter is inserted into the neck and coming out to the chest this is in direct communication with the central veins near the heart but it gives a good flow and is usually long lasting whenever a patient has acute kidney injury and needs any emergency dialysis then a dialysis catheter like this is inserted into the neck and that helps to take the blood from the great veins near the heart into the machine and back even though this looks to be a single pipe actually it is two pipes fused together one is connected to the red port and the other is connected to the blue port this does not denote the oxygenation of the blood it only denotes the direction of the flow of the blood the blue one is coming towards the heart while the red is going away from the heart now whenever the person goes on dialysis the dialysis is taken taking place in a dialysis unit and in a dialysis machine which is run by a dialysis technician under the instructions of the consultant nephrologist super specialist doctor of the kidney here from the av fistula or from the dialysis catheter perma catheter or simple dialysis catheter the blood goes to the machine and through the pipes it reaches the dialyzer which is the artificial kidney in this there is the arterial port and the venous port and there are small fibers inside which is called as the membrane and outside the membrane in this gasket there is medicinal water which is called as the dialysate the dialysate is prepared by the machine from special powders and ro water that is reverse osmosis water which is medicinal water now the blood flows inside the straws and the medicinal water flows outside the straws and that leads to an equalization of the various components of the blood like creatinine sodium potassium calcium phosphorus uric acid and other middle molecules and heavy molecules this leads to half clearance of the blood actually so suppose the creatinine in the blood is 10 and outside in the medicinal water of course it is zero then it will equalize to 5 5 following the physics laws of diffusion and convection the blood with creatinine 5 goes out of the dialyzer and returns back to the body while the dialysate which initially had only zero that will become 5 creatinine waste water and will go out into the discharge effluent waste water this continues over a period of time the pump of the dialyzer machine sends the blood approximately at the rate of 200 ml per minute and later on the 5 liters blood in the body is slowly cleaned in the dialyzer and the entire body creatinine goes down from approximately 10 to approximately 2 or so by the end of around 4 hours of dialysis usually the kt by v is seen for patients in the dialysis machine to find out the efficiency of the dialysis but at the end of dialysis the high creatinine in the blood comes down to around approximately 2 or so similarly for potassium potassium in the blood in a kidney patient may go up to 5.56 
but at the end of dialysis it comes down around approximately to 2.5 2.2 but then later on because the kidney is not functioning the levels of this parameters in the blood again rise over the next 24 to 48 hours and the next dialysis session may be needed for the patient the usual dose of dialysis in kidney patients is around three times a week for four hours that is alternate day dialysis but there is a special dialysis also that is called as nocturnal dialysis in this the dialysis is given for eight hours it is given a little slowly and then it is continued daily night for all the days of the week it has been seen that because in this case the blood cleaning is slower then the complications of dialysis like hypotension cramps etc is lesser and also the cleaning of the blood is much better in such patients they have seen that the need and necessity for other supportive medicines for calcium phosphorus uric acid is minimum their blood pressure control is also very good so nocturnal dialysis is good but finally the cost of having a double dialysis of 8 hours and a daily dialysis that is something which patients may not be able to afford also and also the time management of 8 hours remaining in the hospital daily is something which may not be feasible for most patients now whatever is the poisonous substances which are accumulated in the blood in kidney patients those all are cleaned by dialysis so suppose creatinine which is the commonest thing we know that is the level of 10 in the blood normal is 1 now in the kidney patient it is 10 and then it gets cleaned and after dialysis the creatinine comes down to around 2 kidney is still not functioning then the creatinine will again rise over the next 24 to 48 hours and again the next session of dialysis would be required if the kidney starts functioning like in acute kidney injury then maybe the creatinine will not rise after the next session of dialysis and the further dialysis can be cancelled or postponed if required but if it is a chronic kidney disease patient whom we know will require lifelong dialysis permanent dialysis then a fixed schedule of three times a week four hours is advised to the patient and repeated blood test is not required sometimes some people do post dialysis blood test that is not required because how much the body is accumulating the poisons without dialysis is a more important parameter than how much the blood is getting cleaned by dialysis nevertheless equalization of the intracellular extracellular compartments leads to a rapid change in the initial 2-3 hours post dialysis and the usual blood report pre dialysis for kidney patients is a creatinine of approximately 6 to 10, potassium of approximately 4 to 5, phosphorus of approximately 5, uric acid of approximately 5. There are various changes as per the weight, gender and diet which is being taken. But as a rule of thumb, if the patient is edema free, there is no swelling in the feet, there are no breathlessness episode, appetite is good and the reports are up around average, then the person is getting a good dialysis. The machines of dialysis do measure the KT by V to find out the efficiency of dialysis, but that is not required for every patient as such. What are the two types of dialysis? First and most common is hemodialysis, blood dialysis and the second is peritoneal dialysis or stomach dialysis. What are the dialysis vascular access points? In this, in hemodialysis, the commonest one is the AV fistula on the hand. The second common is the permacatheter which is in the neck coming out through the chest and in acute dialysis, it is the acute dialysis catheter in the neck. There are other positions also including the inguinal in the legs or subclavian in the chest but these are less used and less common. Common dialysis complications. The most common is low BP, hypotension. The other ones are cramps, pain in the legs and in few patients chills and fever after dialysis. Fever and chills during dialysis is indicative of infection. Finally, a dialysis catheter or a permacatheter is a foreign body inside the blood vessel. So that develops a biofilm with bacteria on it and this can lead to infections of the bloodstream. This is a sometimes dangerous complication and may necessitate removal of the dialysis catheter so that later on the patient improves in health. Peritoneal dialysis, in simple words, stomach dialysis. In this, the space in between the stomach and intestines is called the peritoneal cavity. There, medicinal water is fluid through a peritoneal dialysis catheter near the stomach 
and that is remaining inside for around 4 hours to 6 hours so that equalization of the poisonous substances of the kidney failure patient occurs and then the peritoneal fluid is effused out into the drainage bag and a new water is then infiltrated. Now this requires cleanliness and a clean room and a training for the patient to do it in a clean manner. Also, the coordination of the fingers of the patient is required for attaching and uh, dislodging of the various pipes and also strength to lift up the back and put it on a stand and then remove it down. Sometimes some old age patients may require a helper assistant to do all these things. Living with dialysis. Finally, dialysis is a different type of life. It is not a bedridden life. Dialysis patients do go to work and earn money. They jump into local trains of Mumbai and go to work. And dialysis patients do come home and fight with their spouse. So they have all the energy to do all the things which is possible for a normal person. Only the life is different that they have to reach a dialysis center and do their dialysis three times a week for four hours. Of course, medicines for diabetes, hypertension, calcium, phosphorus, uric acid, to some amount may be continued for these patients. But usually the dialysis patient is having a healthy life. Only if the heart is weak or other problems like knee osteoarthritis, etc. are there, then only the person may have some problem in their normal daily activities. Thank you.